Okay, so just to let you know, my daughter is camera shy. I hope you're good. I'm doing great. Uh, I want to show you our, our our rabbit setup. Now, we have how many rabbits, Isabella? Ten. Ten rabbits in here. And we have three breeding rabbits. How many boy rabbits that are breeders? Three. Three boy rabbits that are breeders. Okay, so just to let you know, my daughter is camera shy. You. She's gonna help me, and we're gonna walk walk you through our program. Uh, we do. She just cleaned all of the bunny cages, sc scrubbed them down, cleaned them out, made sure that they looked nice. Uh, she does this every week, but in saying that, we do a deep clean every summer. So my daughter just did that. We have three bunnies over here and one bunny over here that are smaller. The smaller bunnies we will be looking at to see whether they're female or male today. Uh, and then we'll be going from there. Now, I wanted to tell you that this is my daughter's area. I don't come in here. We put them in a stall because it's a lot easier for us. And in the winter time, we put them in the tack room because the waters freeze. In the tack room, it's warm. Uh, we do have it heated in there only because we have to keep the water on. If the water freezes to the barn, we don't have any water for any animals. So that's why we keep them in there. Today, we do, she does brush them. She clips her nails every so often. Now, remember these are meat rabbits. These are not rabbits that you keep in your house, keep in your <coughs> room. These are technically meat rabbits. They are a Rex mix breed, okay? Uh, and like I said, Isabella knows, not mama. What we're gonna do is we are gathering everybody up to see if they can go in one cage or another. And we're seeing the sexes. I want you to know that this has been a really hard decision for my daughter. She has to decide who gets harvested and who does not get harvested. We have to downsize our program for the winter time. Now, our three mamas are pregnant. They'll have another litter and then we will harvest them also, if need be, before winter hits. Let's see what we have, okay guys? So let's see if you do not see a little thingy come out this is female okay that is a female now sometimes you can not see their little thingies come out those are too young because they're, yes, they're too young. So we're going to take a look at this one. Little nug. <laughs> too much fluff. Right? Too okay, here fluff. we go. Okay, that is a male. See how it pops right out? That's a male. Okay. Oh my goodness. All right. Now we're going to get this beautiful gray rabbit up back here. Yes, hiding in the box. <laughs> yeah, because they know. He knows what's up. All right. <sighs> Let me grab him, okay. You grab him by the scuff, the tough, and it's a lot easier. Okay, that is a male. 
That is a male. So we have one female and two males. Okay, see how that pops out? And it's very interesting. All right, all right. Oh, he's got a cute little yeah, white, white spot on white him. Toes. We might want to keep him. Who knows? But oh Isabella God. is going to have to make that decision. Okay, let's look at this one. Bun, bun. And see. And this one squeals. Usually. I'm surprised that the baby didn't squeal. This one is also a male. See how it pops right out when you push it down? That is a male. So he, that this one's a male. We have three males. So Isabella's going to have to make a decision on keeping uh, a couple of the males, or oh. we can keep the we can keep the girl. One male left, maybe two. We need to set up cages. We need to know what we're doing for the winter time. And then um, we'll go from there. Hard decisions for Isabella? Hard decisions. Yes. But she knows that everything here on the homestead has a purpose. It was really hard for her at first um, to get rid of some animals. Uh, but we do it with everything here, especially during the winter time when we don't It gets we get tons of snow here and everybody has to come into the barn. I have not ever had um, One that I didn't know yet um, as soon as what you, you I thought you thought one well, one was, was male by and it was, was it, it ended was up female. being female right right so but she was still young enough that we were able to decipher male and female right. okay so the reason we have them in this stall is it's nice and cool and it's fun for them to lap around in here let everybody get some exercise during the summertime okay that's it for today uh, that is our rabbit program per my daughter and she loves her rabbits loves them now there are a couple rabbits we will never get rid of one being rocket she's our 4-h winner one being rocket and Probably one of these tan ones, um, Mr. Brisket, we will not get rid of. Very sweet, sweet uh, rabbits. So I want to decipher between bunnies and rabbits. Bunnies are something that you have that you care for that are uh, family friendly. These are rabbits for producing meat for us, basically. Like, subscribe, and hit that little bell, and we'll talk to you soon. Toodles!